So here we want to integrate the function 4x to the fifth dx. We want to use power rule, but we have this constant, and there's two different ways that we can deal with this constant. One way is we could take out the constant, so it would be 4 times the integral of x to the fifth dx. That's one way, or just leave the constant in there. It really doesn't matter. It's just more about preference. Uh, I think starting off, if you're new to integrals, it's probably preferable to just focus on the integral portion and then deal with the constant. But once you develop a, a strong level of comfort with integration and everything, you might be able to just like, all right, I have this four here. I'm going to integrate this and then simplify it with whatever this bottom becomes here. And then you're, you know, you're off going on to the next problem. But just starting off might be good to just sorry, I'm going to focus on this integral figure this out, and then I'll deal with this constant. It's really up to you, though. But we're going to use power rule. And what we want to do is I want to add 1 to the exponent while also dividing by that 5 plus 1. Because what we want to do, if this is going to become x to the 6th, if I were to take the derivative of that, that would be 6 times the 4. And then we want to divide by 6 to offset that multiplication of 6, leaving us with just that 4. So I'm going to get 4 x to the sixth, 5 plus 1, 6. And don't forget when we're integrating, I know I have to simplify, uh, when we're integrating we want to tack on that c. Now with integration, it's really easy to do your integration and then boom, all right I'm done, I integrated, cool moving on. You want to look to simplify though with that constant, this is what I was talking about, that if you're kind of newer, you might want to just rewrite this as four times the integral, deal with that, and then you have that visual of like, oh yeah, I still have this four that I need to multiply by whatever that integral comes out to be. But here, I have to simplify. Four and six. So think about uh, what is the largest number that goes into both four and six, and that's two. So two goes into four two times. Two goes into six three times. So we're going to have two x to the sixth over three plus that constant that we don't know. So we just have to have it plus C. So there it is.